everybody and welcome back to Daisy's Corner. On this episode of Die and Tries, we are going to look at the Lush post-workout products and see which ones work, which ones don't, um, and which ones get the Die and approval. So if you're interested in that, keep watching, leave a like, um, and enjoy everybody! Okay everybody, so Tonight we are going to try one of the bath bombs and one of the massage bars. Now today was kind of a rough day at the gym. Uh, for weight training today I did legs and glutes. So I know that tomorrow I'm going to be very sore. And the day after that I'm probably going to be even more sore. So because I'm on my routine days now, uh, tomorrow is going to be shoulders, chest and triceps. So um, we can try more products and try and help my body not be broken um, but tonight I'm going to try the salt water soother bath bomb so that's this lovely big boy right here you can see it's quite a sizable bath bomb and this retails at Lush for 95 Rand which is quite decent considering the size of the bath bomb. So I'm very happy with that price. And then also tonight what we're going to try is the After Magnesium Massage Bar. Um, so we'll give that a try as well. Now this is described as a soothing magnesium muscle soak. Run your bath, drop the soothing Epsom salt bath bomb in and let the restorative waters run over your tired muscles. Once you finish, raise from the water and lightly towel your skin dry before soothing your muscles with the After Magnesium Massage Bar. The refreshing yet serene oils of peppermint and spearmint and eucalyptus prop you back up while the magnesium rich Epsom salts create the softest of waters, allowing you to take a well deserved rest and take stock. Okay, then after the um, salt water soother bath bomb, I decided to use the magnesium after massage bar. Now this is described as cooling peppermint magnesium remedy. Had a workout you can't forget. This refreshing magnesium witch hazel and arnica massage bar will help to unwind your mind while easing and recovering those aching muscles. The supporting cast of eucalyptus, peppermint and spearmint oils cools you and your joints back down. Menthol is believed to aid absorption of all important magnesium into your skin. Magnesium is the fourth most abundant mineral in the human body, responsible for over 300 different functions, and is thought to be anti-inflammatory, supporting muscle movement and repair. Our Lush Spa therapists suggest using after massage bar as part of your cool down routine post exercise. Warm the bar on your hands before applying it directly to the skin with light pressure. Using soothing massage techniques onto muscle groups that have been worked during your session. Whew, I look rough. I'm very red. Okay, so um, I've just taken the um, first bath bomb bath. I feel good. I feel nice and soft. I will comment that there is a lot of Epsom salt in those bath bombs. So I know usually there is, but when I get in a hot bath, sometimes I will obviously sweat because it's hot water. Um, and when I was sweating, I was getting like a burning sensation in some of my in my eyes at some point. Um, and that's just mainly because probably of the salt um, and how salty it is. But yeah, I enjoyed it. Daisy gives it a... I don't bath, so I don't know, out of 10. Um, but yeah, no, I think I feel good. And that massage bar was very cooling, which was nice. I enjoyed that. Um, but yeah, it was good. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to night two. So uh, I'm feeling a little rough. We've been pushing it hard this week at the gym. So um, yeah, I'm definitely feeling the effects. 
Today we did a push day, um, which means I did shoulders, triceps and chest. Um, yesterday we did glutes and um, legs. So I'm feeling a little broken, not too bad though. Um, legs are feeling good after yesterday's treatment. You can hear the bath going, I'm sure, in the background. Um, tonight though, we are going to try the deep sleep um yeah the deep sleep bath bomb this one retails as well for 95 rand which again i feel is pretty decent looking at the size this one is so pretty i'm not gonna lie the colors get me they're so gorgeous um so we're gonna try this i'm not a big fan of lavender so we'll see this bath bomb retails for 95 rand um, which again is fair because it's a really big block of bath bomb. Um, you know, there are some smaller bath bombs that I feel go for the same price that this is not comparable. You know, this is this is worth it. And then tonight we are going to try the Wiki Magic Muscles Massage Bar. Which smells very cinnamony. So we'll see how that goes. I'm kind of excited to try this one. I've seen this one a lot reviewed online, I'm not going to lie. And then this massage bar goes for 165 Rand a bar, which is very expensive. However, a multi-use product, 165 Rand, that, it's a lot, but the fact that I could use it for maybe a couple of weeks, not a bad thing. I'm also not doing weightlifting every day of the week. So I wouldn't be using this on a day where I just did cardio. Um, so, you know, these products I would definitely, if I was going to repurchase any of them, um, I would only use them on nights after I had done my weight training routine. Um, I hope that makes sense. Right, I'm ready for a bath. Let's go and um, see what things look like. Okay, then on this night, I decided to use the Deep Sleep Bath Bomb. This is described as a dreamy magnesium soak. A good restful night's sleep is a magnesium bath time away. The relaxing dream team of lavender, chamomile and neroli oils combine to create a soothing scent that fills the air as the reviving Epsom salts restore balance to tired muscles. Run your bath, drop the soothing Epsom salt cube in and dive deep into the dream world while the soothing lavender scent fills the air. After my bath on this night, I decided to use the Wiki Magic Muscles Massage Bath. It's described as soothe sore and achy muscles. Smooth out tension and say goodbye to aches and pains with a massage packed with extra virgin coconut oil to soften skin and stimulating aduki beans to work away stubborn knots, all scented with a warming blend of cinnamon leaf and peppermint essential oils. Okay. Hello everybody. So I'm not going to lie to you. It's been a couple of days, but, um, yeah, so I didn't film an outro, so you're getting floor footage with this bunny. I just got back from the gym. Um, my closing thoughts are, I don't know if the bath bombs are effective. Um, honestly, um, I've been taking hot baths for a while. Maybe I felt a little bit better using those specific bath bombs. So um, I think, honestly, what I'm going to have to do is buy more and try it for a longer period of time and then I can give you updates on social media, my other social medias, um, like my Instagram and stuff. So definitely go and follow me there so that you can keep up with um, my latest thoughts and opinions. Overall, I like the smells of both. Um, the lavender bath bomb really surprised me, honestly. Doesn't smell like lavender at all. Um, so for me, that's a winner. I like that. It smells, it smelled sort of fresh, but more floral than lavender, which, yeah, I enjoyed. And I liked both massage bars. I thought they were very nice. Um, again, it's a bit tough to see after one use whether or not they were effective. But like I said, I do feel good um, having baths and everything. <laughs> having baths and everything after a tough gym day. So um, yeah, that's my thoughts on it. 
and uh, that's Daisy's thoughts on it so I'm glad um, I could give you that little bit of info. Um, yeah, if you want me to review any other Lush bath bombs, you're more than welcome to leave a comment down below. Or if you want me to try, um, do a video trying every bath bomb that Lush offers in their general collection, I'll do that. Don't threaten me with a good time. I'll do it. <laughs> so um, yeah, everybody must enjoy their day. And I'll see you in the next video, everybody. Bye.